great. Uh, I went out for the band and glee club and tennis. And probably the best thing that ever happened to me. I learned to read music. I learned the real joy of singing with other people. I learned harmony. I learned how to play the cornet. I learned how to read that type of music. And I guess that's where I, I even did a little directing on my own. We had a little band of our own at one time. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But at any rate, uh, by the time I got out of high school, I'd been president of the glee club and the mixed the bench chorus and the uh, mixed chorus. I was singing uh, with an octet at Delmore Junior College, it's Corpus Christi Junior College then, and we made several trips. And uh, I was solo cornet just in uh, in the band. I was never able to play solos, but I, I challenged the top seat twice and beat him and always gave it back to him because I didn't like it. I'd rather play a harmony. But I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, I think. Uh, I had a lot of friends. Uh, had a lot of fun with them. We did a lot of things uh, that were a lot of fun and not mischievous. We did a lot of, we were all active in church. We were all uh, good students. Some of us, some of them, not me, made the honor roll and uh, I just graduated uh, with, I don't know what kind of C plus or B average or something. Just, I did just what I had to do to get by, I guess. I didn't overdo the studying or overdo the planning. High school was a very enjoyable time for me. Of course, by the time I got out of high school, I was still only 16. And most of my friends were going on 17, or going on 18, really. And the war had started December the 7th, 41. This was May 1942. So I started losing my friends to the service. They started going in the service, and of course I couldn't go. And that was a very low time for me. I was being left at home. Uh, all my boyfriends, you know, all of them that I ran around with were leaving. Wade joined the Merchant Marine. Lewis Davis joined the Marine Corps. Uh, Edward Nykam joined the Navy. My brother was gone. He was in the Engineers Amphibious. He was at A&M at the time and joined up from up there. And I was left at home by myself. And I couldn't understand. I guess it was the most hurt I was ever, ever felt that I was not able to go with my friends to war. So for about a year there I was at home and moping around trying to get into V5, V12, trying to get into Marine Air Force or Air Corps, whatever they called it. Mother wouldn't sign my papers and I couldn't get in until I was close to 18. So I just had to wait. But let me tell you about the band. We decided when we were in high school that we were going to have a band. Ed Harvin, John Rimani, Lewis Davis, myself, uh, a couple other guys, I can't remember all of them. We pooled all of our money and bought two pieces of music that had all the parts. Frenzy and begin to begin. And we practiced out at Ed Harvin's house, much to his dad's dismay. And we practiced four or five times and just never did sound like we were going to compete with Glenn Miller or Tommy Darcy. So besides that, the guy started leaving going to the service. And, uh, we had to give it up. But I want you to know, we had a band. I was trying to think of something we didn't try in high school. 
and I don't know what it was. I guess if there was anything we didn't try, it was girls. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We dated. We ran around with girls. We had our own little kind of a club clique, about six couples of us. That six couples, by the way, uh, with their spouses, are still getting together every year for the 40-something year, I guess. And we enjoyed the good things. And I don't ever remember Becky's youngest boy, Brenton. Mm -hmm. Brenton George is his name. What's your name? Is that right? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Tell me what your name is. Brenton. Brenton. Brenton's going to sing us a song. Can you sing Davy Crockett for me? Mm -hmm. Let's sing it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Born on a mountain top. No, we're not going to sing the song. We're not too interested in this. Uh-huh. Us. And we didn't drink, we didn't smoke. But we had more fun than any ten monkeys in that school, I'll tell you for sure. Well, I just called them monkeys. Who? Well, let's see. There was there was Lewis Davis and Donna Davis. And there was uh, George Derry, and he married Bobby, Bobby Derry. And there was... Uh, what happened? Who was that? Uh, Mom, help me. Uh, Faye and Ed. Faye Harvin and Faye and Ed Harvin. That's it. And uh, Jean and Janelle Hobbs. And Lewis and Joyce Spellman. That's ten. That's ten. How many did I say there was? Ten. Okay, that's about ten. Where are you from? Born on the mountain top in Tennessee. Green is thick in the land of the free. Raised in the woods so we knew every tree. And that's <laughs> the <laughs> end of all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that there was Sarah singing David Crockett. I'm not. I like to build the world on in perfect harmony. No, I like to build a world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honey beans and snow white turtle doves. I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I like to hold it in my arms and keep it company. That's the song I hear. That's the song I hear. That the world sing today. That the world sings today. The song of peace that it goes on and never goes away. Ricky never goes away. away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Introduce him. This is Lauren Rose Waters. She is going to play us a song on the piano and she's going to be slightly assisted by her daddy. He's going to play the last chord. He's going to play the last chord. It may be the lost chord. And what's, and what's, the, name and what's the name of the song? Oh, Come, Old Children. Oh, Come, Old Children. Come, Little Children. Oh, Come, Little Children. Are we ready? Go. <laughs>
Introducing Lee Ann Waters. She is now going to play on the piano. <coughs> we Three Kings. Take it away, Lee. <laughs> Oh. 